I'm very sad to have to announce that actually, in the last week, one of our cast members had to drop out. But, fear not, through the magic of theatre, we have recreated this person almost perfectly. So I can guarantee you, if anyone can spot who is not a real actor on this stage, you shall be winning a prize. It's you! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and now, the show. <laughs> So, pupils, as you can see from this uh, flimsy bit of evidence, which I've literally just dug up, and doing uh, nothing but looking at it, I am 100% certain that I have just discovered a very, very specific new species of dinosaur. Aren't I amazing? <laughs> <laughs> but sir, you haven't carried out any forensic analysis at all, let alone genomic exploration. You have literally just picked up this bone fragment and looked at it for all of two minutes. And you've already decided to name it after yourself? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> what is this I'm wearing? Uh, a lab coat? What does this badge say? Dr. Alan Grant, D. <laughs> Now, using your amazing analytical skills, what do you think this can tell you? That you're unnecessarily wearing a lab coat in the middle of the desert and a name badge even though you've been teaching us for all of five months. Wrong! It means that I am right. I have the lab coat, I have the third PhD that is, from Harvard, that I bought on the internet. <laughs> What's the internet? Oh. Uh, oh, what's that, young world creationist? Get him! Hi, honey, how was your oh, day? It was amazing! Because I'm a genius. Do you know what I hate, though? Children. Do you know what else I hate? I hate theatre adaptations of films. Do you know what else I hate? What? Helicopters. Yeah, nothing could ever startle me, though. What an extremely random sentence to say that couldn't possibly signal foreboding! <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to sell up to commercial affiliations. Come meet this rich white girl, give us money to work for him! I need no other explanation! <laughs> I'm a bumbling old English bull yeah. with far more money than sense. Yeah. Inexplicably, I've got an island off the coast of Costa Rica. It's got a park in it, which is a perfectly normal thing to do with an island, and holds nothing suspicious whatsoever. <laughs> you should come visit to verify its utmost safety so I can avoid all those annoying little lawsuits. Yay. Did I mention that I just randomly give out massive amounts of cash? You can take as much as you want for your funny little science projects. No expense spared. But we're scientists. Yeah. We would always put the integrity of our work before money, like true scientists. Yeah. And we would live off bread crusts and water, as long as it meant our discoveries were the best. Yeah. And we would never compromise our work with huge amounts of money that would make our lives so much more easier and luxurious. <laughs> all right, can we just hold on just a second? But, no, I mean, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm eating food. <laughs> because apparently, in Hollywood, that's the only thing a fat guy can do on his own. <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed, I'm fat. Oh. Was I typecast? I could be. <laughs> Am I the bad guy? Who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> Here anyway. 
I'm about to pay you a million dollars in cash, which is way below the market value of dinosaur embryos. What, what kind of embryos? Dinosaur embryos! How do you estimate the market value of dinosaur embryos? It's an exact science which I'm making up as I'm going along. You all would have known what kind of embryos you were referring to if you hadn't given it away. Now, don't forget the bloody obvious. They need to be viable embryos. Yeah, 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 viable embryos, yada, yada, yada. How do I transport them? This, of course. You're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so even though you're ten years behind developing viable dinosaur embryos yourselves, you somehow have the technology to safely transport them. Yes. <laughs> and re remember, be back with the embryos for the rest of your money. Okay, fine. But make sure your guy is there on that <laughs> boat at 6pm, because I only have a 15 to 20 minute window to get out of there, and your guy is more likely to screw up this foolproof plan. Foolproof? Foolproof plan. <laughs> Not me. Thank <laughs> 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 I'm amazed to see you have arranged a team of professionals to come and review your island, Mr. Hannon. But I fail to know who in the world is qualified enough to review an I, island full I of... I think you'll find that the team I've assembled is more than suited to the task, Mr. Lawyer. Why, we've got the finest minds of their like in the country, if not the entire world. Take Dr. Grant here. Foremost <laughs> researcher in the field, and knows all that needs to be known about dinosaurs. Why, if there's something Dr. Grant doesn't know about dinosaurs, it's not worth knowing. So, uh, what, what do you do, sweetheart? Do you, uh, dig up tiny little baby dinosaur skeletons? <laughs> no, she's I'm a... I'm a paleobotanist. She's a damn good one as well. That doesn't sound like a real word. It is a real word. I have a PhD in paleobotany. Uh, again, it's uh, not a real word. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me now. Paleobotany is the key sweetheart, study to the... Sweetheart, sweetheart, it doesn't matter how many times you said the word, it doesn't make it any more real. <laughs> <laughs> You can sue this guy for attempted sexual harassment. I'd be willing to cover the charges and uncover other things. <laughs> <laughs> Back off. I saw him first. Back off. Who the hell is this guy? You must pardon Mr. Jeff Goldblum. He's an incredibly sexy devil portraying a mathematician. Uh, no, no, not a, not a mathematician. Uh, a chaos is. <laughs> chaos is. That's uh, a chaos. real word. <laughs> chaos is a bunch of codswall. Careful, possible slander lawsuit. Hammond here does not agree with the concept of chaos theory. Chaos what? Chaos theory. Have you never heard of chaos theory? No wonder you're a, a gladly old woman. It's a real word. <laughs> Calm down, sweetheart. I don't expect you to pay it. Chaos theory is, uh, is a field of mathematics where, uh, where sensitive systems uh, are, are examined. Now, uh, if any changes to these systems, say, wow, you, your eyes, they're, uh, they're beautiful. <laughs> well, uh, you must have heard of the theory of uh, attraction. <laughs> I am going to break this sexual tension. Um, look out the window.
with green uh, eyes. To prove that paleobotany is a true science, I'm going to spell out a bunch of stuff I know. These trees are extinct. Cretaceous period, germination, sporulation, impossible! Ellie, Ellie, I literally had to grab your face to make you shut up. <laughs> Slam that in Hollywood, you desperately do have to try to prove that women can do science as much as men. We get that. This is reality, isn't it? <laughs> now, will you just shut up and look? <laughs> oh my god! I know. It's, it's a real life dinosaur. <laughs> I know. We are going to be so rich. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Mr. John Hammond. I'm so very delighted to have you with us today. So, of course, the big question is, live dinosaurs, how did we do it? <laughs> Wonderful question, with a fascinating answer. We had to find their blood. Tasty, tasty blood. <laughs> Why do you need blood? Well, blood contains DNA, which is the body information guide to making you, you. How did we find dinosaur blood, you want to ask yourself? Well, I'll tell you. Mosquitoes are a nasty little pest, but a pest nonetheless that has been around for hundreds of millions of years. In fact, the mosquito has been around for so long, it would even be a pest to the dinosaurs. Mosquitoes drank dinosaur blood, and some of the mosquitoes ended up trapped in tree sap, which fossilized into what we know now as amber. Our clever team of scientists managed to extract the blood that was preserved in mosquitoes trapped in amber and get the dinosaur DNA. Of course, after all this time, the DNA wasn't perfect. It had some missing gaps. However, dinosaurs share very similar DNA to frogs we find in the wilds today. So he added the frog DNA to the missing links in the dinosaur DNA. Pretty much like Lego. How marvelous! We were then able to create clones of the dinosaurs, incubate them into embryos, and put them into artificial eggs for them to be finally born 65 million years later. How wonderful! <laughs> right, well, even though that excellent film, film explained absolutely everything, does anyone have any questions? Oh, no. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Jeff Goldblum? You introduced species into an ecosystem. Uh, they've never been exposed to. Uh, you've introduced hundreds of new species into the world. Uh, how are you going to control them? Why, well, they're all female, of course. <laughs> if, uh, if evolution has taught us anything, it's that uh, life always finds a way. Life uh, breaks free, expands into new territories, crashes through barriers, painfully, if not even dangerously. Uh, <laughs> chaos! <laughs> well, Jack, being the sexy beast that you are, in all your years of sexy experience, you must know that females cannot breed with females. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Moving on! I have, I have a question. Frogs are amphibians. Uh, that's not a question, sweetheart, but uh, points for trying. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you use birds, which are direct descendants of dinosaurs, to complete the DNA sequences, instead of members of a different animal kingdom entirely? Surely that's basic knowledge to any geneticist? Moving on! <laughs> This is not doing the gamekeeper. Was that lethal? We have to kill him! Shut up! Do you realize the legal binds you can be bringing on to us for even suggesting that? Sorry, what does he again mean? <laughs> They're smart! They're thinking! I don't even like it! Kill them all! <laughs> Why do I hire you? 
<laughs> because I'm the only one around here who has to constantly remind people that a 40 foot tall, 6 ton carnivore is in fact highly dangerous. Who's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Of all the money, we can charge a fortune. But don't forget all the other people who can't afford that. We'll suck them dry too. Hate <laughs> 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 uh, to spoil your fun, gentlemen, but uh, I have to interject my own wonderful opinion about how nature is going to come and I'll wipe the smoke rims off your faces. Mm. Hundred dollar bills. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to agree with Jeff on that one. Uh, of course you do, darling. It's uh, it's only logical. It's uh, it's only natural. It's uh, it's only instinctive. <laughs> Believe me, I I really hate to do this as well. I don't like him, but I really have to agree with Jeff too. This is crazy. No, no, no think of all the money. Fine. Well. You can all walk home, bitches. Grandpa! Grandpa! Ah, oh, hello. Ah, hello. This is Tim, my grandson. God, it's a child! Get away from me! I specified this! I can feel my ovaries exploding. <laughs> I can help you with that. Right. Well, let's get on with the tour then. Do we all have insurance? Does this health cover cover acts of God? Yes? 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 yes. We're good to go. Friends, friends, friends. I love you and I've read all your books and I want to be with you and I want to be you and I want you to adopt me! Go away! <laughs> I'm going to get into a huge number of life-threatening situations with you as the only responsible adult capable of saving me, purely to bring out your deeply rooted paternal instincts. What? <laughs> yeah, I just look up to you like a father figure. Jesus Christ, Timmy, get it together! <laughs> Come on, child. <laughs> <laughs> To the system, and then you know. Naturally, I'm trying to be nice and friendly. But I'm going to tell you, in the nicest possible way, that your systems are abysmal, and you're a terrible employee. <laughs> I'm honestly not even sure why I haven't fired you yet. Don't say things you might regret. Don't make me destroy you. If you only knew the power of the code side, you never found out what happened to my father. I, I know, Hammond. You are my father! No! <laughs> and now let's never refer to it again. Agreed. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very unsuspiciously going to the, uh, the vending machine for uh, 
15 to 20 minutes. While I'm doing that, various security systems are going to turn off and on again for 15 to 20 minutes. It's not suspicious, it's perfectly normal. We cool? What the hell are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> cool. See you in, in 15 to 20 minutes. That was weird. By the way, the storms are going to be too dangerous now. We're going to have to call the tour off. But, but no expense spared. Sorry, Governor. Fine, just make sure they get back safely. <laughs> All the electrical fences are down. <laughs> what? Did I stir? Jeff Goldblum in the back of a car when it was just me and her. Unpredictable, astounding. Chaos! I tell you. <laughs> she'd do me. Who'd do me? I'd do me. Hello, <laughs> Brant! Look at me! You're not looking! I'm talking! Look at me! Timmy! I, I, I know about dinosaurs. I seek your approval. Desperately, and I have unresolved daddy issues. You're not looking, and now you are, so look! Timmy, neither I nor anyone else is ever gonna love you. But, <laughs> 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 where's the electric fence that's supposed to stop us from going into the dinosaur park? Uh, surely we can't just stroll into here. <laughs> Alright, Timmy, give me this one. Yeah. Do you want some knowledge? I'll lay some knowledge on you right Teach now. Teach me things. Lay some knowledge on you. God creates dinosaur. God destroys dinosaur. God creates man. Man destroys God. Man creates dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaurs eat man. Woman inherits the <laughs> what do you know? It's uh, chaos, I tell you. Shut up! Uh, I think we should be heading back. I am sick of you men telling me what to do. I'm going to go this way. That's a very bad idea. Impression! <laughs> Let it go, man. Wrong week of the month to argue. Oh, honey. Because I want to support your bid for independence, I'm going to let you go your own way, unaccompanied, when realistically the sensible thing to do would be to come back with the three big strong men who can protect you from the big scary world. We've talked about that. I love you for understanding me. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> All right, Jeff Goldblum. I'm going to have to ask you to leave my girlfriend alone. And uh, I'm going to have to ask you to uh, stop being such a cock <laughs> Jesus, do you even know who you are? You're Jeff Goldblum. You could have any woman in the world you wanted. Hell, you could have me, just so I could say I did. <laughs> but why can't you just leave my very attractive, but very unavailable girlfriend alone? Just because there's a goalkeeper doesn't mean you can't score. <laughs> ah, storm. What a perfect example. If you of say chaos theory one more time, I swear to God I will tear your throat out and feed your balls to dinosaurs. <laughs> weather patterns. Ah, right, weather patterns. <laughs> Did you 
hear that? Thunder? Yeah, Grandpa. Can you just turn on your hearing aid? <coughs> I looked this up on Wikipedia. I am no older than you are. <laughs> Look, Jeff. That was no thunder. And what? This looks like a job for Jeff Goldblum! <laughs> no! Jeff, you fool! Don't you see this is the perfect point in the plot for me to develop my deeply rooted paternal instincts through the medium of my knowledge of dinosaurs? I'll hold the jeep! You do that! Kiwi! <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur! No, damn it. That did not work. Probably because I didn't know the dinosaur's name. They only come when you call them by name. Right, I have a torch! I have no idea what I'm doing. That's a nice try, Jazz Rabbit, but uh, we just What? What? Jesus, Jeff, at least my talk worked on you! <laughs> Sacrificed myself, but uh, it was all in vain. 
I only wish I could have uh, saved the child. Where are they? Uh, if I could tell you, then I would. All I can offer you is my deepest condolences and a friendly, surprisingly <laughs> handsy embrace. <laughs> well, that makes sense. What? You're screaming. And you see, that ju just because I'm a woman, I'm not allowed to scream. I'm not allowed to be hysterical over the fact that my partner, not husband, by the way, may have been killed by a T-Rex. No, not that. It's just that your constant screaming has gotten our lovely girl to bring the party to us. <laughs> that does not look like a party. I think that we should. Run! <laughs> I can't decipher this code. It's undecided. <laughs> I can't do anything without them. <laughs> Is there nothing you can do? Look, we've tried nothing and we're all out of our deeds. All we can do is turn off the power here and hope when we turn it back on that, uh, hope when we turn it back on, the system has rebooted itself. How do we do that? Well, if we shut it off here, then turn it on at the main power grid, which is on the other side of the park. Uh, whose who's bright idea was that? Was it, was it the project planner, or the auditor, or the architect, or the park leader? And who thought it was a good idea to put the main power grid on the other side of the park to the main? Why is your shirt unbuttoned? <laughs> I think the better question is, why isn't my shirt off already? <laughs> so what you're saying is we have to go across the park, all the way over to switch the power. That's the only way, which means someone has got to go to the power grid after we've turned off the power, including all the fences. As the naturally good-looking leader and the hero of this story, I will of course go. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing! <laughs> Bitch, sit your white ass down before you hurt yourself from thinking. Obviously, I'm going to go. And, uh, and how come uh, you get to go? I'm Samuel L. Jackson! <laughs> That's a, that's a very good point. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go out there with the fences turned off? Is there anyone here more manly and more capable of taking on dinosaurs than Samuel L. Jackson? No, no, no. <laughs> then it's set. Turning off the power in three, two, one. Okay then, folks. I'm going to take on these mean motherfuckers and get out of <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson, you're my hero. I know. <laughs> Damn! I'm tired of these motherfucking dinosaurs on this motherfucking island! <laughs> Ellie! Yes, Samuel L. Jackson. Wait for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what in the name of me holy emerald island are we going to do now? Well, there's nothing we can do but wait. Shouldn't be too long, though. We've got the best power sources and electrical cable money can buy. You know, we spare, spare no, no expense. expense. <laughs> so, uh, who wants to play a game? It's the game, who can kill Jeff Goldblum and make it look like it got an accident? No, no that's not It's the game, Jeff Goldblum, patronizing and sexist quirks bingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you shocked me. Uh, what an unladylike thing to say. Bingo! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's be civil. We're all in this together. We need to remain calm and just carry on. Are you kidding me? Uh, remain calm and uh, carry on. Uh, in your words, that's uh, absolute cause what up. Uh, there are very angry and carnivorous dinosaurs roaming around out there. What near millions of years after they were supposed to be. Nature is a lady, and she is indeed a very fine lady. And she has a bitchy streak, and she's throwing all of this in your face. It's karma! Well, there's no need for that. I think you're losing your marbles. Chaos theory and karma are completely different things. Chaos theory? Yeah, but... Chaos! Motherfucker! <laughs> Was that Samuel L. Jackson? That, uh, that did sound like his dying scream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only someone could have said, Do you need a strong, manly shoulder to cry on? You are a creep. Somebody has just died and the first thing you can do is look for the nearest breathing female to ban. I 
don't miss any opportunity. Right. Never sets. Oh, <laughs> that's what I mean. If Samuel L. Jackson comes by, what chances do we have? He was our only hope. What do we do now? Someone has to turn the power back on. This looks like a job for Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> I've had quite enough of him. <laughs> you kids can go. I'll stay here with this annoying irritant. Take a walkie-talkie. Let's roll. Come on. Okay, I'm environment, 
frogs can spontaneously change gender, which means... I don't know. I am paying taxes for your education, Timmy. <laughs> sort this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> it means they're breeding, Timmy! They're breeding! The dinosaurs are breeding! That seems like the sort of thing a world-famous paleontologist would have figured out a long time ago. And you should have figured out a long time ago your parents don't love you, Timmy. They <laughs> <laughs> sent so you in the middle of a dinosaur park. We frankly are quite crazy, old man. And my sister loves <laughs> ice skating and I hate yeah. ice skating. It's because they love her, Timmy. Now shut up and let's go! <laughs> 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 Oh, thank goodness we're back here. <laughs> At the visitor's centre. <laughs> that means I'll be in a responsible adult who can take care of you. Oh, shucks, Mr. Uh, don't touch me. I really enjoyed the time we spent together. Even though I almost died, then you almost died, then I almost died, then you almost died from trying Hello? to save me. Hello? Hello? Is there any other adult here who can possibly look after this small, whiny, annoying child? <laughs> I guess not. Yeah! This is how it's going to work now. Okay. I need you to do something for me. Okay? Oh boy, what is it? It's a big grown-up thing I need you to do, okay. Timmy. Yeah. Okay. okay. I need you to stay here whilst I go and look for the others. You want me to stay here? <gasps> yes. And you're going to go? Yes. And I'm going to be here by myself? <laughs> I'm so glad you understand, Timmy. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>
believe we do! Yes! Oh, no God. expense spared my arse! God, I've been the steepest architects known to man! Christ! Oh, games console, does it have Ooh. Mario Kart? Tim, 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 Tim! You know I've been a dick this whole time. That was only a joke. Can you just be great for me now? Lock this door with that computer. But I want to play Mario Kart! Yes. Do as he says! If only there was another stupid person who could pass me that curve! <laughs> Shoot them in the face! Thank Christ only Tim's here and his parents love their daughter. God! If only Samuel Jackson was here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 